So in today's video, my goal is very simple, is demonstrate to you how by not changing into new golf clubs has been a massive success for me on a personal level. And I reckon some of the things I've learned will definitely help your game. And this has nothing to do with the brand that you use, the type of club, I've got zero interest in that, but it is about consistency and having the same product in your bag over a period of time can be a massive bonus. Now that's my forward, which has fast become one of my favorite clubs in the bag. This club has stayed in my bag for the past eight months, as has every other club that's in there currently, although the irons have been in there slightly longer. And what it's led to is my game improving significantly and certainly becoming a lot more consistent. And I'll explain how and why I think having the same clubs in my bag over that period of time has certainly helped. So first of all, the stability relates to the shaft, and that's because all of the clubs that are in my bag have been custom fit. You know I'm a huge advocate of that. I really don't understand why you wouldn't do it. It's generally no extra cost. So first of all, all these clubs have been custom fit for my specification. So I've got no excuses. But what it also allows me to do is understand how I can swing with driver, forward, and into the hybrids as well. Forgetting all the gapping at this stage, I'm just really comfortable in each of the shafts. I don't feel like I'm gonna to try too hard. They suit my swing type, and I've got really confident with each of those. But the next thing is that gapping element, and what I've been able to understand at that top end of the bag in particular, which again, has given me a lot more confidence. Now into the irons, and the one big deal here is distance, distance control, but certainly management and understanding of those distances. So right throughout the bag now, and I'll go back up to the top end very shortly, but right throughout from the wedges through to my driver, I've got some nice equal and consistent gapping. But what I've been able to do over this last few months, certainly with the irons and mid irons, is understand exactly what full swing on each of them does in terms of yardages. So, I've just noticed already in the intro to this video, I've used the word confidence in almost every element I've discussed. But by having that same set of irons and not switching in and out, which I would have done in the past, it's just given me that ability to fully understand what kind of ball flight they uh, provide and what distance each of them uh, offers. And that gapping is hugely important. And that again has allowed me to be much more consistent, but much more in confidence when I'm stood over an iron shot and I need to deliver. And one area which has been, uh, well, really vastly improved for me personally is my short game. And that's by having the same three wedges with the same, uh, well, three different lofts, but uh, the same gapping, if you like, consistently. And yet again, it just allows me to continue practicing different type of shots using different lofts, but consistently understanding what each other clubs does. And for me, just mixing that around and not having that gapping quite right in the past has obviously been detrimental to my game. And it's an area of the game where I'm really keen to improve because I'm starting to, or as I'm starting to get older, as I'm starting to maybe lack distance off the tee, then it's really an area for me to concentrate and improve and maintain my scoring. So having three wedges, sticking with them and understanding what each of them have done is hugely important. A real tricky little chip and where, oh hang on, go on ball, go on. Yeah, well this is the 18th or Hollywell and uh, if that was a Saturday medal comp you'd, uh, you'd be all over that. But the bit I wanted to mention and where I want your input is uh, this. How many times in the past of when things aren't going quite right with your driver, the first thing you do is go and buy a new driver. It's always the... Um, the arrows and not the Indian in that case. But we all know that that is not the case and it's better, and don't get me wrong, I'm well and truly guilty of this, it's better to stick through, see what's gone wrong with your swing and no doubt that driver that you want to part X and buy a new one is perfectly good enough. 
Now one of the biggest things that I've had issues with in the past is swapping in and out of putters and that again has been something that uh, I'm relatively comfortable with as long as I've got a sort of uh, mallet style putter with lots of perimeter weighting then I'm fairly comfortable with it. But the difference being is swapping between brands and different face inserts is where there starts to be a little bit of inconsistency and certainly differences between each of the different models and each of the different brands. So that's another area where for me just sticking with the same face insert, that same feel, same understanding of distance control, playing week in, week out with exactly the same putter has been a massive help from me. Now it doesn't mean that you're gonna hole every putt, it just means that you're fairly confident with that distance control. And for me at my level, not necessarily about hole inputs, I'm not always close enough to the hole to worry about that, but I am interested in being consistent with my distance control and making two putts something that I do on a regular basis. So putter stability, and I don't mean in a head type, I mean by having the same one in the bag, again, has been a massive bonus for me. So the moral of the story, as I start another video that we're going to talk about very shortly, uh, and also what I've learned in this last six or seven months about uh, gapping at the long end of the bag, is that buying new clubs is fine, but consistently changing your clubs is probably not so good. And it's certainly something that I've had to do as part of the job. We review golf clubs, so they're often in and out of the bag. But having this stability has certainly allowed me to understand when things have gone wrong. I've not been able to quickly switch out into something new. I've stuck with it, I've ground it out, I've worked out what's wrong with my swing, and I've reaped all the benefits that have come from having that consistency. So if you want to buy new clubs, then go out and buy them. You know me, I'm, I'm certainly not part of the, uh, the, the people that are going to ruin that fun and enjoyment for a lot of people. But I think it's also to understand the benefits of consistency and working with what you've got. And like I said, it's not brand specific, it's not age specific, it's just something that you've got confidence in that you stand over time and time again. And that familiarity breeds confidence. And I'm certainly loving the setup that I've got and working out what uh, works for me at that top end of the bag has also been hugely important and that's coming up in the next video. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. Don't forget to tell me, do you swap clubs when things go wrong, yes or no? And I think if you're being honest, the majority of you are going to say yes.